the Italians. Come on, Italians. Yeah. This is Long Island, the very funny man, John Belzone. Come on, give it. Daniel, I learned something from you. Thank you. It was a pleasure meeting you. Who needs paper, right? Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm not fucking crazy. I gotta back up. <laughs> the Italian, where are you? Italian. Yeah. This is my crew from Howard Beach. If you don't laugh, their wives are going to kick the shit out of you. <laughs> so, I was just, you know, the world's going crazy, right? I, crazy shit happening. And I saw on the news the other day this six foot six kid beat the shit out of the school teacher. You see this? Knocked her out. And I'm thinking, what, what happened to the good old days? Like, when I went to school, my parents sent me to Catholic school where the teachers beat the crap out of the kids. Yeah. yeah. It didn't take long. Second grade, I got my ass handed to me. And uh, I stole some candy at a candy store. I shared it with my friends. My teacher saw me. Sends me down to the Mother Superior's office, which is like the principal, you know. And... She asked me what happened, I explained. Pulled out a roller, started beating my knuckles with every syllable. Don't you ever steal candy again. Don't you leave the school grounds again. I don't know what the fuck they learned, but to this day, I don't share my fucking candy with anybody. I just became a grandfather for the first time. Tonight, my daughter sent me a picture of her. She's doing pictures every month, six months old tonight. And, uh, but the technology surrounding this, my granddaughter, blows my mind. I thought, you know, monitors, we have video cameras, the big ones. And, but she's, my daughter walks around the house with breast pumps, remote controlled, <laughs> connected through the internet to a phone, Humming, buzzing, churning, you know, she looks, she sounds like a, like a mobile robotic dairy farm. But the bed she's got, I swear to God, she's got a bed, it's a smart crib, have you heard of these things? Smart crib, it senses the baby's sleeping patterns, knows when the baby's about to wake up, knows when the baby wet the bed. I said, holy shit, I need this. You know, my age, I can use that technology. But, I, you know, online dating sucks. Somebody mentioned it earlier. I had a lousy time with online dating. I've been forced for 17 years. I had long-term, short-term relationships, long-term relationships, friends with benefits. Yeah. I've been a couple of times. But now as I'm older, I'm, I'm still looking for friends with benefits, but it's more like... Oh, well, yeah, but it's more like... health, dental... <laughs> And if I could find somebody with optical too, that would be, that would be awesome. I mean, it, it got so bad, I actually thought about getting together with my ex-wife again, trying to make amends. But after the, the, the property distribution settlements and 15 years of big alimony payments, she wouldn't go. She would just think I'm after my money. <laughs> You know, I, I'm, I'm focusing less on the relationship stuff, I'm focusing more on me, uh, my business, my friends, my family, and, and it's, it's great. Um, I got a personal coach, I got a business coach, I got a trainer at the gym, and instead of one person, now I got seven fucking people nagging me. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me? I must need it. I got all new doctors, all new doctors, female doctors. I would all females. And the next day the examination's fine. I find but seriously, I find they're more compassionate than men. Female doctors are more caring than men. But most important, they got smaller fingers. That's it, that's my time.
Thank you.